We're on Community Fair. I'm Marty Adler. We're getting set to bring you the two-year-old trotting colts. There are four of them that are heading to the post now that Mr. Blackwell, the favorite, has been scratched. Here is the post parade for the two-year-old trotting colts. Number one is Acetylene Torch D, owned by John Putnam and Ella Del Duca of Vassar and Burton, Michigan. Carl Putnam Jr. will drive. Two is Corwin's Nub, owned by Steve Middleton of Gaines, Michigan. Brad Kramer's in the sulky. The three horse has been scratched. Four is Arnie's Bud Light, owned by Priority Acres of Centerville, Michigan. Jim Prouse is in the sulky. And the five horse is King Kate, owned by Martha Steinhilber of Milford, Michigan, along with Lee Saddlebird. Lee is in the sulky. So there you have a look at the horses entered in this afternoon's two-year-old Colt Trot, going for a purse of ten thousand five hundred dollars. The gate is rolling, and we're all set to bring you the Michigan Sire Stakes for two-year-old trotting Colts, and come. a purse of ten thousand five hundred dollars. We'll turn it over to track announcer Scott Ehrlich. And they're off and trotting with Acetylene Torch D going for the lead. Corwin's Nub came away in second. Arnie's Bud Light and King Kate. They trot in post position order in the first turn, and it's Acetylene Torch D with the lead by two. Corwin's Nub is second by two. Arnie's Bud Light is third by two, and King Kate is the trailer. Off stride in the pocket is Corwin's Nub. Corwin's Nub is off stride. So Arnie's Bud Light inherits second, King Kate inherits third, and Corwin's Nub is still on a break. They head over to the first quarter. Acetylene Torch D leads it by two. The first quarter was in 31 and two fifths. It's Acetylene Torch D on top of Comfortable 2. Arnie's Bud Light is second by 2. King Kate is third. And now distance is Corwin's Nub. A little more than 5 eighths of a mile to go. And Carl Putnam Jr. and Acetylene Torch D lead at a length and a quarter. Arnie's Bud Light moves a closer second and is out of the pocket. In third is King Kate and far back Corwin's Nub. Passing the stands for the first time on the inside. Acetylene Torch D drawing even is Arnie's Bud Light the half. 103 and 4, 32 and 2 for the second quarter. They move into the turn the final time. Your leader on the inside, Acetylene Torch D. On the outside, Arnie's Bud Light, the challenger in second by two. King Kate is third. Out of the turn and up the back stretch they go. Acetylene Torch D leads it a long neck. On the outside, Arnie's Bud Light, the challenger in second. King Kate is an unused third and only two off the lead. They race to the three quarters. On the outside, Arnie's Bud Light. On the inside, Acetylene Torch D. Three quarters. 134 and 3, 30 and 4 for the third quarter. It's Arnie's Bud Light on the outside taking the lead. On the inside, Acetylene Torch D is second. Right there, King Kate ready to gobble up the leaders in third with an eighth of a mile to go. Those trotters turn for home. It's Arnie's Bud Light with the lead on the outside. Here comes King Kate. And on the outside, King Kate. Arnie's Bud Light is still there. Arnie's Bud Light and King Kate. Those two to the wire. It looked like King Kate maybe over Arnie's. Bud Light. I don't think I've seen a better four horse race in my entire life as Acetylene Torch D led for most of the way. Arnie's Bud Light was ready to make the upset and then flying up on the last stride, here comes King Kate to win it all in 207 and 2. We'll be back with more from the Huron County Fair in Bad Axe, Michigan. We're here with Martha, and her horse did win. You said this was a tough little horse, didn't you? Right, he is tough, and, and he, he's been off for a few weeks, and he's coming back strong. Now, so. even though it was a four-horse field, it certainly was an exciting race, too. Right. How did you see that race? Were you a little surprised how Lee uh, raced the horse? Yes, I mean, but he does that. He take, he keeps him in the back, and then he gives a whistle to him, and off they go to get the job done. And this horse had lots of trot coming down to the wire, and he had enough uh, at the finish. He right. is a tough little horse. I think he's going to be. I know my husband's counting on him. Now, your husband, was he able to see the race? Uh, no, he's back by the stall, and he'll be there to get him when he comes back there. But, and do you think he was listening to the entire call? Oh, yes, he does. He now, he's in a wheelchair, so yes. he didn't get to be up right. here. Right. He won't. He'd rather stay in the background, and, and he hears him well. And this is what racing's all about, and this is what really right. kind of helps him, too, oh, does it? Sure it does. It definitely. He, he looks forward all winter long to come back out and watch him go in the spring. Well, congratulations. Your horse won the big race here at Bad Axe. Okay.